Good morning. It looks like most of these numbers are showing growth over the last couple of quarters at least. Um, what's your takeaway? Now, my takeaway is that we came out from the second quarter. We were not satisfied how we performed, especially in the consumer segment. We took a lot of actions in the second quarter, new price plans, uh, but also some adjustment of prices. We launched some new products. And uh, as you rightfully said, we saw now sequential growth and we saw year on year growth on our wireless revenue. Uh, and even our EBITDA grew 3% to $12.12 .12 billion. So it, it's actually worked. That doesn't mean we're done. We have more to do. We have a large uh, company here to move and we're moving it uh, in the pace we should do in order to keep our cash flow continue coming in as strong as it's coming in. Yeah, I'm looking at the net ads that you have and, and the net ads were 8,000 net ads compared to what we heard from AT&T yesterday of 708,000 net ads. I mean, they were also talking about growth. I think they think that they are putting some stronger numbers up. How would you look at those two comparisons? No, I think that we took some deliberate decision in the second quarter to do price adjustments. So we knew we would have a churn bubble in the third quarter uh, on the consumer side. And that was so. But our gross ads, they went up, you know, with more than 5 percent compared to down 11 percent in the second quarter. So clearly more traffic in the stores, clearly much more uh, movement and, and growth for us. So it was a deliberate decision to do price adjustment. And then if you look at on our business side, we were uh, we were adding 200,000 phones net ads again on our business side. This is the fifth quarter in a row where more than 150,000 new net ads on our business side. So clearly we were addressing what we should address, the consumer segment, especially on the net ads. And we see the outcome of that right now. But uh, as I said, again, we have more to do. We, we have a big company that we're moving. We have segment, clear segmentation in our wireless business. So we'll continue to do that work. Hans, AT&T raised prices too. Did, did you raise prices more and is that going to lead to higher profitability? I think that what we did, we were adjusting prices in certain segments where we saw it, uh, we, we could do it. And it was important for us to actually do it. It was a deliberate decision. And uh, as far as I, I know, I mean, this industry has never increased prices. And, and we are in a special moment right now. So we, we did it, but for certain segments and it had its outcome that we expected. Do you think those customers are leaving for, for T-Mobile, which I don't think has risen, raised prices as much? No, I don't know. I mean, I think that partly uh, we see also a movement between uh, prepaid to postpaid. And uh, we had growth in our in our prepaid uh, portfolio this quarter, first quarter since we acquired TrackPhone. So mm -hmm. very happy with that. We launched new products there with a new set of product called Total Wireless by Verizon, as well as we launched also now fixed wireless access or home broadband on our prepaid. So we're just starting to get traction on that section as well. So but it's a lot of work to do here. And we feel good to what we did in the second quarter, but it's, as I said, we will continue to work with it. Well, let's talk about what you're seeing from the consumer. Obviously, there must be some price sensitivity, and that's something every business is kind of watching right now, how much they can raise prices to make up for higher input costs and, and whether the consumer is willing to go along with that. What, what do you see just about the health of the U.S. consumer right now and in terms of when they're paying their bills? If you look at the, our consumer base, it's a high quality customer base we have and the highest in the industry. We see no changes in, in payments or something like that. We're actually better off than we were pre-COVID when it comes to payments uh, from our customers. Uh, so that's one thing. On the other hand, of course, it's a sort of a sensitivity in the market when it comes to prices, given, given the inflation and all of that. But we, we are really happy with our customer base and how they are actually performing in these times. We also see roaming uh, back basically back to normal levels, meaning people are traveling abroad and using their cell service. We see that back to pre-COVID as well. So uh, it's a little bit mixed feelings when you look at it. We had more store traffic this quarter, up double digits compared to the second quarter. So uh, it's a very mixed feeling what you see in the ma macro economy and what we are reading into the largest base of consumers in this market when it comes to wireless and, and basically the biggest direct-to-consumer business in the United States. For your guidance, you are saying you are looking for adjusted earnings per share of five dollars and ten cents to five twenty five um, for the full year. Street's kind of at the high end of that at five dollars and nineteen cents. Um, what what is the the metrics that you're kind of waiting to see? What what are the uncertainties that will determine which way it goes? 
Now we have a holiday season coming up here. Uh, so far it, it, it looks pretty normal. Uh, but we need to work both with our cost side, but of course also with our offerings. And we will work very agile right now because there's a lot of movements quickly in the consumer base. And I think we've set up the company right now that we are addressing basically consumer base all up from the premium that is really working well from us down to the value segment to the lowest end. And we can work with all of them. And we just need to be very agile to see that our customers are getting the right value proposition in the right moment right now in this sort of sensitive marketplace. And I feel, feel really good about where we are in that sense because we, we know what we can do and we will do it very agile and quickly. And it's more to do here in order to bring in those customers.